A tiny percentage of women who date never get breadcrumbed by men. And the actual reasons might surprise you because contrary to popular belief, it's not dependent on their sexiness level or their age. So what is that it factor that allows seemingly ordinary women to be the most highly respected and valued by men while so many others have to pressure and pursue guys to get their attention? If you want to know the answer, this is what I'll be revealing on my video today. I'm gonna share something that is somewhat controversial, and that is your ability to be highly sought after, highly pursued, highly valued by awesome men is not dependent on your DNA. It's not dependent on your beauty. It's not dependent on your sexiness. It's not dependent on your age. I've had the privilege now for many years working with women who are by the book, what you would consider a model. They still get breadcrumbed, even though they have the sexiness and the DNA and they have that appeal, the magnetism, but they still get breadcrumbed by guys. And I've also had the privilege of helping women who are not by the book, what you would consider a supermodel, but they bring a sense of magnetism. They bring a sense of attraction and desire, a sense of high value that is not dependent on the conditions or the DNA they were landed when they were born. It's really more dependent on what they're choosing to do and feel and be and express. You can't change necessarily the cards you were dealt with when you were born. You can make the most out of them. And that's what this video is about. Before I share the six different things that women who are highly pursued by men who are never bred from do differently than perhaps other women, I want to share with you the three core reasons why human beings get breadcrumbed. Reason number one, they bite into this idea that the illusion of the future weighs more than the reality of today. If you connect with a guy and you make somehow the subconscious decision, he checks the boxes. He's the guy I've been looking for. You feel that hunch of energy and excitement, then you might be putting off the reality of what's happening right now for some notion that it's going to get better in the future. He's going to grow up. He's going to mature. He's going to do better. Even though you don't have hard evidence to show you that, you're buying into some desert mirage that's showing you it's water, even though there's not really water there. Second reason, you don't buy into that version, but you're confused about what breadcrumbing is, or you're not confused, you're kind of in denial or a combination of both. If you don't have a clear idea of what pursuit and healthy relationships look like, you might confuse a guy who's showing up hot and cold as pursuing you even though he's giving you mixed signals. Or you might be going through the third reason and that might put you into a situation where you're in denial, where it's convenient for you in some way not to wake up to the reality of what's happening because if you were to wake up to the reality of what's happening, you might miss out on the connection, which leads me to reason number three. At some deep level, you may not believe you deserve better than this, or you maybe think you deserve better than this, but you don't think you can get it. So when you go through life, never experiencing what you want, and you finally get something that kind of looks like what you want, you might hold on to it for dear life without realizing that the mediocrity of your experience is preventing you from going for your true Love. I want to help you change this. If you're facing any of the situations right now, or maybe all of them, there's hope for you. The first difference between women who are never breadcrumb and those who constantly get breadcrumb is they have an embodied sense of confidence. So what does that really mean? That means that they believe, they know in their hearts, they're not better than anyone. It's not an entitled sense of confidence. They also know in their hearts, they're not worse than anyone. So they can look eye to eye any human being they come in contact with. And they also understand that when they show up with a sense of value, because they understand their value and why, nothing to do with men. They've done the work in their lives to know that they are intelligent, that they have meaning, that they have purpose, that they can move to create certain emotions in their life. So they understand intrinsically what they bring to the table. When you really know, not here, but here, what you bring to the table, it's far less likely you're going to go for something that doesn't match your vibration. Second thing that women who never get breadcrumbs do differently is they tap into an intrinsic sense of magnetism. What does that mean? That means that they can get excited and they can blossom even more when a guy validates them, lets them know how beautiful, how amazing, how sexy they are, but they don't depend on it. When you depend on someone to tell you that you're beautiful, to feel beautiful, he owns your heart the moment he says it because it creates a sense of dependency. So what I'm talking about right now is when you understand, you validate yourself, you connect to your beauty, you own what you bring to the table and you stop comparing yourself to this bullshit idea of what you should look like. You know you're unique and different 
and can bring it, whether it's curves or super thin body, whatever it is that you bring to the table, you own it, you love it, you accept it, you bring it, you don't shy away from it, then you can get excited when a guy validates you, but you don't need the validation to feel that. Third thing that women who never get breadcrumb do differently is they invest on proven value. They don't just invest based on hunches. The vast majority of human beings that I've seen make really wrong decisions in love is they are not thinking it through. They're letting their emotions get the best of them. They feel somehow the connection. They feel the raw emotion. They feel this person's the one. They sense something that is not fully explainable in words, and they go with that without making that conscious decision. This guy is showing up the way he needs to. So what does it mean when you really invest on proven value is that you start investing in men in the same proportion of the way they show up versus in your idea that the guy has the quality or checks the boxes. Fourth thing that women who never get pregnant differently is they get sharply clear about what works and what they want and what they need. It's going to be hard for you to get what you want if you don't fully own it, if you don't understand it, if you're kind of fussy about it. That doesn't mean that you're not flexible. That means that you commit to a certain set of values and, and you know what it takes to experience those values. Why? Because when you're clear about what you need, you can express it. You can ask for it. You can invite it. You can inspire it. When you're kind of confused about what things you need to move forward, what kind of things you need to feel safe in a relationship, what things you need to feel connected, what things you need to feel respected, then you're at the mercy of whatever happens. Now, before I share my last two points, which are some of the most important, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not clear on the true reason, the root cause where you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every kind of love challenge you can imagine to finally attract committed and amazing relationships to do so. And I've put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds, you'll have to think. The answer to the question why you're still single and a custom report that's going to share based on your specific blind spot, what's the number one practical thing you can do today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. The fifth thing that women who never get breadcrumb do differently is they commit to a paced attachment strategy. So what does that mean? That means that they take longer to know men before they make the decision, he's worthy of my full commitment. They create more options. They set stronger boundaries. They don't necessarily have sex early on. They, they wait a little longer to understand that there's true friendship, that the values a guy is sharing that he has are actual values versus imagined values, that there's not going to be something glaring that shows up maybe a couple of months into it, that had they made the decision earlier on, he's the guy, they would probably try to convince themselves isn't there because now it's too risky or too painful to end it. So when you pace yourself, when you take longer to get to know someone, longer to connect physically, longer to connect sexually, longer to be exclusive, what happens is the right guy who, as long as the relationship is growing, will continue investing. The guy who wants something easy, the quick fix, the situationship is not going to stand that test and will self disqualify. The last decision that women who never get breadcrumbed make is they make the decision that dignity is superior, more important than more valuable than desire. So what does that mean? You might want children. You might want a deep relationship. You might want an amazing guy who shows up, who has certain values and qualities, but you know that your dignity, your worth, your value is more important than that desire. Why? Because if you have to connect to someone at the expense of your dignity, you will never be fulfilled long-term. So when you make that decision, dignity is more important than desire, that means you can walk away. That means you can say no. That means you can say, only if this happens, will I fill in the blank. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and my channel. If you click like and subscribe, if you find this is valuable, share it with someone you love. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.